Time for round one. To start off with, gotta maintain my team store. Have to repair that. I'm actually going to upgrade it. And I'm gonna wait for these to get a bit lower before I repair those. Hopefully I can repair them by the conference finals, if we make it that far, of course. Somebody pointed out that I should show the team stats and the player stats. Thank you for that suggestion. I totally forgot about it at the end of last episode. I'll show them right now. In terms of forwards, we don't have anybody really excelling. I think our team play really got us here, our defensive play. I'm pretty sure looking at the defense, you're going to see a few guys with huge points. So in terms of close to 50, I mean, we got Marchand, Galchenyuk, and Pacioretty. So it's good that they're leading the team, but they could definitely be doing a lot better. Keep in mind, that line formed mid-season. Who knows what they'd produce if they were together the whole season. Then we got Radulov, Gallagher, Desjardins, and Hurdle. Hurdle needs to be doing better. If we don't get him going, he's going to stay at an 85. If any of you have suggestions, let me know. And then in terms of the bottom six, there's not much to tell. They're, they did all right. No one got an ex... The, I mean, Matteau got 40 penalty minutes. Shaw got 60. Gallagher got 50. That, that's okay. Let's go to defenders. We got Brett Burns. 46 points, so he got more than any forward on the team. Or well, 49... Yeah, 54 he did. I was looking at 46 penalty minutes. He got 54 points, the most on the team. And Shea Weber got 44. Wow, that's crazy. Shea Weber got as much points as Pat Shreddy, almost as much as Galchenyuk and Marchand. Like I said, the, I thought the defenders were going to carry the team, and they definitely did. Petrie chipped in with 18 points. Bolu chipped in with 15. Barbero, 2 in 11 game. That's fine. Emelin, he's a defensive defenseman. And then Redman, he's only 82. He's supposed to be a depth defenseman. He, he's, a, he's a good defensive guy, though. Defensive 4.5. He's really good. Definitely, Burns and Weber carried the team. They put the team on their back. 95 and 92 overall. That is crazy. Both with a plus. Redman and Emelin. That third line, plus 14 and 15. That's that's amazing. That's a def definitely a reliable third option. I like that third line of defense. In terms of plus on the team, Pacioretty was a minus 5. Hurdle was a plus 14. Hopefully that helps him grow. I'm not too sure. Let's take a look at how Price did. He actually... Did he? I think he did get injured for a little bit. Yeah, he did, because Montoya came in. Three years in a row, he got injured. Obviously, this year, it wasn't major. That was obviously good. 2.3 goals against, and a .92 save percentage. Definitely a good save percentage in goals against. It's Carey Price. He can do much better. We all know that. That's okay, though. So we got a medium backup, if you want to take a look at his stats. In terms of defensemen, who do we got that has potential? We got Noah, if you want to take a look at his stats, 13 points. We've got anybody else? Doesn't look like it. Let's go to forward. Mir, 50 points in 70 games. That's fantastic. He was playing with some good talent. De La Rose, 50 points as well in 70 games. They should be good for next year in terms of the team. Sherback, he might be good next year too. Wow. 35 points. Okay. Carr got injured. That's okay. 30 points in 50 games though. He was on pace for a great season. Anybody else to take a look at? Okay, Lankinen, he got injured. Okay, Maybe towards the end of the season, he did play every game. 23 points. Definitely all of our prospects were producing. That's good to see. Team stats, I'll show you that. I think I did take a look at that. I'm not too sure. If not, 
I'll take a quick look at it again. Goal for 2.5, goal against 2.5, power play 17, and penalty kill almost at 80. The penalty kill I'd like to be at 82 plus, but I'll take it. I'll definitely take that. Now, let's take a look at one more thing. Let's go over to... Where can I take a look at how players progressed? Manage rosters, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Progress report. I want to take a look at this. So who grew? Desjardins apparently grew. That's interesting. Montoya Fucali. So Galchenyuk and Hurdle didn't grow at all. Are they maxing out? I'm not too sure. Let me know if, I, if you think I can grow them in any way. Let's go to in the system. So wow, excellent growth in the system. All of these guys were growing a lot. That's great to see. Let's take a look at Mir. 13, he went up to an 81. All of these guys improved the stats. Obviously amazing to see that. Apparently the AHL is doing something right for the prospects. But nonetheless, we got the Tampa Bay Lightning in round one. Damn. I'm going to stick with the lineup we have. Patrietti, Gelchenyuk, Marchand, Gallagher, Hurdle, Radulov. I like that. If it's not working out, I can always move Marchand down to the second line. I can even move Patrietti down if I feel like that's what needs to happen. The bottom six is looking good, though. Top or defenseman. Again, if I feel I need to, I can move Burns up to really stack up the first line. That will only be a last case scenario, though. Let's go to goalies, make sure Price is in net. Oh, nope, I want Price in net. I don't want Fucali starting in the playoffs. Do I even, do I even take a risk of holding a meeting? You know what? Ah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Hopefully I can do good. Chemistry. Oh, Price wants to talk. Oh. Okay. Not affected. Okay, that that's not good to see. Hopefully his morale changes. I didn't even know that. Yikes. He's not liking the current situation. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't ask for a trade. Can they do that? I'm not even too sure. But we got... Game one of the series, and doesn't matter who you play, the big picture. Yeah, I like the big picture. I do. Okay, so it did help Price out. That's good. Didn't do anything to the overall chemistry, but hopefully that helped carry Price out. That's all I can ask for. Let us simulate the first game. Wow. Let's go. And I think the... AHL team made the playoffs too. I'll double check on that after this game. Let's go to goals though. First period. one nothing. Palat. Damn it. Only one period. Come on, Price. You got this. Get get your confidence up a bit, man. We outshot him 11-5. to five. Something to go off of. Nothing in the second. Resume simulation. Let's go. Times four. Let's go times eight. Somebody. Price is keeping you in the game. Gallagher, there you go. What a huge goal. Keep on the pressure. Keep pressure on. 30 shots on Tampa Bay. Five on four. And we kill it off. Wow. Five on four? Come on. Oh, they can't. Oh, and Radulov scores the game winner. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even mean to press A. I meant to stop the simulation. <laughs> oh. Radulov, though, coming in huge, getting the big goal. Wow. Montreal stats. Who got the point for us? Gallagher, two. Radulov, two. Marchand, an assist. Weber, an assist. That second line was huge. Let's check out Hurdle. He was a plus one. Perfect. In terms of the shots, Pacioretty had five, Redman had five, Hicks, Marchand, Gallagher, Emelin. Everyone did their job. 
A great first game. Wow. Bo you! No! April 30th! Wow! Wow! He's out for this series! Damn it! That is rough! Shit! So let's go to the AHL. Okay, they have a few weeks left, but I'm gonna have to manually change Bo Yu, and I'm gonna have to manually change the lines. So thank God we got Emelyn at an 84 overall. The bottom six is looking pretty rough, but there's not much we can do. Let me go to AHL. There's really no one we can bring up. Nobody's AHL ready. That's a bummer. Nonetheless, we gotta keep going. We gotta keep going. Chemistry is still at an 80. Come on. We can do this. Get to a 2 nothing lead. First period. And it is 2 nothing. Damn it. Ernie and Downey. That looks like a bottom six uh, line. They might be out against our third line of D. Damn it. Let's simulate a period again. Okay, one nothing, McCarron. Perfect. Resume the simulation. Come on, one more goal again. A huge power play. We can't get it though. Come on, Montreal. Come on, kill it off. There you go. Radulov from behind the net. What a goal. He's a beast. Wow, can we hold it? It's going to overtime. Wow. Time for overtime. Resume simulation. My heart's beating. Who is going to be the hero? Come on, take a 2 nothing lead. That would be huge for the team. No! No, they had a power play. I don't think they scored on the power play. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. The team played good, though. I can't hate on the team. A 3-2 to two loss. Nothing to get ashamed about. Ah. Simulate up to the day. If we lose again, I'll do something to the decor. Switch it up a bit. I don't think I need to right now, though. Let's scout OHL defenseman again. I suppose. Whew. Okay, it's 1-1. One, one. Time to play number two. Or number three. Simulate number three. Come on, Montreal. Let's go. First period. Two nothing this time for Montreal. Gelchenyuk finally a top six goal. And Byron. Bottom six has been pulling through. They have. Second period. Three to nothing. McCarron. Perfect. Let's increase the simulation speed. A 3 nothing lead. Price is not going to let in three goals. It's just not going to happen. 4-1 to one is the end result. Wow. If we would have got that overtime goal too, that would have been a 3 nothing lead on the series. Damn. That's okay. That's okay. Keep going though. Keep pushing. Simulate round or game number 4. First period, one nothing Marchand. Second period, nothing. Third period, these are close games. We got the goaltender to keep us in at a five on three. We can't convert and Palat. No. How did you not go on a five on three? Brett Burns from center ice. A dump in, Callahan comes back. No, Palat. Montreal, Montreal, come on. You got this. Montreal. No way. Nemestikov. 4-2. Damn. That 5-on-3 was huge. They couldn't score on the 5-on-3. And then Palat comes back. And no way. Jeff Petrie. April 25th. What day are we on? 18th? Damn. Wow, I can't believe that. Let's go to defenders. We gotta bring a pattern. He's the only guy. 
shit. So our defensive core is really weak now. Should I spread out the... Nah, the offense has been alright. I'm gonna switch Marshawn and Radulov though. Now defensemen. Gonna have to put Paterin in. And he's obviously going to play bottom six. I'm going to move Emelin up to the first. And then we'll go Redmond and Burns. Wow, that is crazy. So was he on the special teams too? Yeah, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Edit lines? What's the error? Okay. AHL? That's fine. Mir is a 82 now, so that's perfect. So the series is tied 2-2. Two to two. The AHL regular season is over. LA swept Chicago. Nashville swept Winnipeg. Wow, okay, 2-2. Two to two. We have got to get past the second round. We have got to. Come on, boys. Game number... Five, period one, two to one, okay. Galchenyuk, Druin, and Huden score, Hudden. I'm gonna call him Hudden. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. But period number two, nothing happens. Jeez. I'm, I'm gonna start sweating. Close games. Third period, we have a one nothing lead. Thomas Hurdle, finally he gets one from behind the net. That's the two goal lead. Carey Price, you have got to carry us through to the end of the game. It looks like he's going to do just that. We end up winning 3-1. to one. We can take him out now. We can advance to the second round. Whew! Pattern worked out for us. Here we go. So we got home ice now. If we don't win this game... We're on the road for a Game 7. This is the game to win. This is the game to win. Game 6 at home. First period. No need to do a meeting. The team knows what they need to do. 1-1. One, one. Gelchenyuk's been heating up. He's on fire. Three goals now. Kalorn got one back. Second period. 2-1. to one. Brad Marchand. Amazing pickup in free agency. He's been amazing this round. Resume simulation. Oh! Redmond scores! 3-1. to Here we go. Come on, kill it off. Kill it off. Carey Price is a monster. They almost have 40 shots. 8 minutes to go. Slow the simulation down. Montreal is advancing to the second round. After a disappointing season, they give the fans something to be happy about. Wow. Carey Price, the obvious MVP so far. He let in two goals, two goals, one goal, four, one, and one. What a crazy performance by Carey Price. Absolutely crazy. Who do we play in the next round? Petrie's available. Perfect. Toronto! Okay. That's interesting. I didn't expect that. One thing I forgot to do is check out Tampa Bay's lines. I will do that against the Maple Leafs. That just came to my mind now. Sorry about that. Let's check out the stats though. So, we got LA versus San Jose. Crazy matchup. Nashville, Dallas, Washington Islanders. So some classic matchups. Great rivalries going on. Let's check out player stats though. I don't think our power play did good at all, but Carey Price kept us in there. Let's go to forwards. Radulov five points. He was huge. He was great for us. Marchand five points. Galchenyuk and Gallagher four. Thomas Hurdle got a big goal. Pacioretty, three assists. He didn't score, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. As long as we're 
as long as we are winning with Carey Price, I'm not going to do much. So Weber, 5 assist. Our defensemen didn't pitch in too much. Definitely a struggle to make it through Tampa Bay with some injury problems. Doesn't look like Emelin will be ready to go for the next game. Oh no, it's a Petrie. One of them won't be able to go. Goalies. Fukali act. Did he? Okay, Fukali played one game. He got a shutout? Wait. What? We only played six games. Am I tripping? Am I tripping out here? We only played six games, did we not? One, two, three, four, five, six. We only played six games, and we didn't get a shutout in any of them. How the hell is Fukali? How did he get a game in? What? I'm tripping. Am I missing something? What is going on that I'm missing? We only played six games. How does Fukali have a game in? Man, that's weird as fuck. I have no idea. Wait. Oh! Maybe Price got pulled. That, yeah, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. The one loss. Four to one. They probably pulled Carey Price after four goals. That's okay. That's okay. Price ended up with a 5, or no, a 1.75, what am I talking about? 1.79 goals against average. He was a beast. 0.947. When I was talking about how in the regular season he was doing good, but he can do much better, that's what I was talking about. He was a beast. And the next round we got Toronto Maple Leaf, the Maple Laugh. I'll hold a meeting. Hopefully, I can do good for them. Um, Journey? No, not that one. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We gotta play the team. Man, they don't like what I say. Fuck them. I don't care. I'm a GM. I don't need to do the coach's job. He should be doing the meetings. <laughs> Nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed. I cannot wait to do round two. Let me know if I need to check anything, if I need to upgrade anything.